Hello Space Cadets and welcome to Mueller Planetarium Astronomy at Home. This is Zach Thompson, Planetarium Coordinator at the University of Nebraska State Museum at Morrill Hall in Lincoln, Nebraska. Wishing you all clear skies. Today we're going to explore our beautiful planet Earth using NASA's Eyes on the Earth. You can find the web address for this eyes.nasa.gov on the right hand portion of your screen being held up by our Earth Buddy. Now we did introduce this software a few months ago for Earth Day just talking about some of the ways that you can explore our beautiful planet using this powerful visualization tool. But today we thought it might be kind of fun just to dive a little bit more into ways that you can see how our planet changes or track changes over time. Here's what the software looks like right when you open it up. And you can see all these things zipping around the globe. These, if you recall from the Earth Day video, represent current NASA missions that are studying the Earth in various capacities. One of the things that you'll notice right when you open this up is you might find little red dots, such as this one. And these red dots represent a major event or some significant event that is taking place on the planet either now or very recently. These are events that have been spotted and studied by either one or more of these satellites. This one in particular is the Sahara dust crosses the Atlantic Ocean. And this data point comes to us from June 22nd of 2020, which just happens to also be kind of around the time of the recording of this video. But when you open this up, it might not be the exact same event. It could be something totally different. We're just showing you ways that you can explore major events and see how they change over time, for example. This same event is also shown up over here under latest events. If you click on this, one simple click of the mouse, you can now explore the information or the data that the satellite has brought us to show us. So in this particular circumstance we have Sahara dust cross the Atlantic Ocean and these are real pictures actual visible imagery taken by the NASA Terra satellite which you can see over on the left hand area and you'll find that these images are stitched together and if you look closely enough you'll see dust visible dust blown from the Sahara Desert going from east to west near Central America these black gaps just res represent gaps in the data. So these black lines aren't actually there on the Earth itself. That's just what it means. But we've stitched together this mosaic of images to show you where the dust blow blew from and where it's going. These pictures again are taken in visible light. So if you were up on the space station, for example, this is roughly what your eyes would see. You can turn to visible Earth and really see these changes over time. If you recall, visible Earth is a global picture of our planet in the last 24 hours. And that information is brought to us by Suomi. If you look over here, you'll see an option for choose dates. Doing so allows you to look at different data points from different ranges of time and you can stitch it together to make an animation, a little video and see really how things change. And since we are doing the visible Earth, this is just again how it might appear to your eyes from space. So we're going to go over here to start and let's just say in the last week or so, we'll say starting on June 15th and we'll end our data period with the most recent as of this recording, June 22nd. We submit the dates, we, we click that. You'll look over here and you'll see the download progress. It's taking those past images and putting them all together. You can tweak it a little bit over here. You know, maybe you want to see more frames per second or you want to see less. It just depends. But now we get this moving video. And see over here, follow the cursor and you really see how that dust is blowing this way across the Atlantic Ocean. Starting over here, you can track the progress up here. And remember, it begins June 15th and takes us through the 22nd. And it moves us this way. Why is this important? Why does this matter? Besides it looking neat and ways to track all this, besides just dust, meteorologists and climatologists, for example, can use this information to see storm fronts developing 
in areas of the ocean or over land areas. Just seeing how they change over time. Because if there are people in the path of a major storm system, they need that information to help them prepare to avoid any kind of catastrophe. Knowledge is power, really, and these satellites give us an incredible vantage point, an amazing view of our beautiful planet Earth. This is again using visible Earth, and it's an option just up here at the top. Yet one more way to explore the changing Earth is to come over here and click Global Temperature. And as it sounds, this will give you the global temperature, the daytime air temperature at the surface from the last couple of days. It isolates which satellite is bringing it to you. In this case, it's Aqua. Don't forget, as an aside here, you can double click on that satellite and see what it looks like. And learn more about that exact satellite as well when you do that. We come back here to global temperature. When you hover your cursor over somewhere on the globe, you'll notice there's this thermometer in the lower right, degrees in Fahrenheit. And see as we move our cursor, it changes as well. So in the last couple of days, you see things were quite warm. Then you move them over to maybe, let's go to the poles, for example. And all of a sudden, brr, it gets pretty cold. We go more north towards Greenland. But this is about change, tracking that change. And like we did with the visible Earth, come over here to choose dates. You can do this for a variety of data sets. We say, let's start at the beginning of June and let's say submit. This will take a little bit longer just because we're pulling more data points. The more you have, the more it takes a little bit longer to download. Must stress again, when you're using this software, you need to have good internet connection. That's where this, is, this data is being pulled from, of course. It's being pulled from online in this visual way so you can see it. And now you'll notice, just watch the color variations from the start of June until the mid or end of June. You see movement here. You see motion. It's just to show you that every day the temperature is fluctuating. This helps us track trends. Is this a bit warmer? Is it a bit cooler? Why is that? What weather fronts have caused it? What other variables are at play? This is just to show you though how dynamic our Earth is. It's not this stationary planet. It's very much alive. Think of it that way. It's changing all the time. And the better we can understand these changes, the better we can understand our planet. The better we can understand perhaps what things can we do to make the situation on the planet better for everybody. For example, you can really have a lot of fun with this. There really is no limit to what you can do with what's available here. This is just a little bit of variety to show you. You can do it with multiple data points, as we said. Let's go back to the visible Earth just because that's a nice, real picture of the planet in the last 24 hours. But really enjoy and have fun with this. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them in the section below. Again, this is NASA's Eyes on the Earth, part of the NASA Eyes software suite. Enjoy Space Cadets, and above all else, keep looking up.